helping you stand out, be seen, and inspire others in any situation. That's what our guest this morning hopes to do with her book, Powerful and Feminine, How to Increase your magnetic presence and attract the attention that you want. And with us this morning is the author, Rachel Jane Groover. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to be here. So you're a local author. You live in Fort Collins, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Okay. This book is really opposite of what you were like when you were younger. I mean, you were really shy. Absolutely. I was painfully shy. But at the same time, I was this closet performer. Like, I really, really wanted <laughs> to get up to on out. stage okay. and make a difference. But very shy, would blush, you know, all of the time. And even when I started singing and speaking, I was just so nervous. I felt like throwing up, you know, in those times where I really wanted to shine and couldn't make that happen. It's actually very common for a lot of people out there. When it comes to feminine presence, though, why do you think women have challenges in this department? There's a lot of reasons, but the main one that I see these days is women are not in their body. And what I mean by that is they're not present enough to their movement, to what's happening in their body. They're just in their thoughts of what does someone else think of me or what's going on over there or comparisons. But when I come into my body and I can actually move in a really physical and energized way, which you do on the camera so well, that energizes their magnetism and their feminine presence can come out. And the other thing is they're not very much in their feminine energy, which tends to move in the hips, the pelvis. We know this when we're out on a wow. Friday night, you know. <laughs> and but they're too here. This is where the masculine energy is. Sure. So really coming down and sinking down into more of their lower half of their body and relaxing in that ups their feminine energy, which again is very magnetic. So it sounds like you have to be very in tune with yourself. And you were saying in the book too that the sound, the vo your voice, yes. the tone that you release or you know, how you talk to people, that can make a difference in how people perceive you as well. Huge difference. We make decisions about whether we like someone, trust someone, and then buy from people if you're in a business by the tone of their voice and not the words. And so many of us are like, I need to get the words right. I need sure. to get everything right. And that's not what people are picking up on. So we pick up on your voice, the tone of my voice, whether I feel real, authentic, truthful. And there's lots of things that women can do to just sort of shift a little bit about how they're speaking so people pick them up in the way that they want. This is a book that you have out right now. Real quickly, we're just out of time. You have a presentation coming up on June 21st that... You'll give some pointers from the, the book Absolutely, itself, right? Absolutely, yes. And vo voice training, personal presence training, and feminine energy so people can really step up and make a difference. What about June 21st? Where can people go? It is the Living Water Unity Building mm -hmm. out in Arveda, okay. and it starts at 7 o'clock. It's free if they bring a cherished girlfriend, because I want more women here, because we deserve to have more of the spotlight and to stand out. Go girl power. I like that. All right. Thank you so much, Rachel. We thank appreciate you. you being here today. We have more information, by the way, on our website, thedenverchannel.com. Just click on that big red TV button.